What do you get when you take a popular modern day digital amp form factor and combine it with something that has more traditional values? Well, you get what's in this box. Why don't you join me? Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed lonely rocker. Thank you so much for joining me today. So. I'm really excited about what's in this box and I feel honored that I get to show it to you guys. Uh, my good friends from Dynastar Electronics, all the way from Fresno, California. Well, that's close to you if you're in the area, but I'm in uh, north of Toronto, Canada. Now, I'm really, really honored that they sent this to me. Uh, Dynastar, for some of you may know them, actually do a lot of OEM repair for a lot of name brand amplifiers and electronics and things like that. And they've been developing their own amplifier. Yes, there's an amplifier in this box, but this is probably unlike anything you've ever seen many of you have not seen before, a uh, different kind of form factor. So we're gonna crack this box open and see what's inside. Also, I will be following up with a deeper dive on this amplifier, so make sure if you're not liked and subscribed, or subscribed at least, uh, make sure you do that now, and you'll be notified when we do the full review. Anyways, I'm uh, bringing officially into the show, that's when you call it, the purple handmade X-Acto knife. Now, in a previous life, like actually way back before I went to college, probably the worst job I ever had, I was working in a blind factory company that actually makes window coverings. And in one day of absolute boredom, I built this. This is a roller from, you know, roller blind, some fabric from like vertical blinds, and even a track from what they call Venetian blinds. You can even remove the X-Acto knife. Beautifully engineered. Anyways, the purple handmade X-Acto knife is now the official knife for unboxings. So stay tuned for future episodes. Hopefully we'll uh, not lose it now. Anyways, here we go. Very careful. I don't know if I need the packing slip. You can tell I don't do a lot of unboxings. <laughs> All right. There she is. Ah, he made a chi chi for me. Look at that. Let's uh, put the purple scissors, uh, purple exacto knife aside. We don't want to lose that. And I don't want to lose the chi chi. Apparently, I need that. So we got a power cord. Some kind of cable here. So here's the owner's manual, which I'm not going to show you because it tells you what it is, because I want you to see it first. So let's open it up. Very well packaged. You can tell they know what they're doing. Cardboard. Wow, there it is. I've been staring at pictures of this for weeks. So in this box, are you ready? Oh my God, look at this thing. Let me get this box out of the way. This is the Dynastar Aileron. This is a obviously floor form factor, but this is an all tube amplifier. A lot of cool features on this amplifier. So let me get this set up for you. We'll get some close ups and I'll give you the details on the Aileron. So they're calling this an LPA, a low profile amplifier. You think in terms of a head, which will sit on a cabinet, this is a full amplifier, but it's designed to be on the floor with built-in foot switching. Some really great features in terms of incorporating pedals. You can mount this on a pedal board. So for those of you that maybe you're not into modelers, you want to have something a little more traditional, uh, right on here, it says EL84 engine in here. So I'll get into the specifics about what's actually cooking inside. But I really love this concept because it's a really concise package with some really interesting features. So if, like I said, if you're not really into the modeling thing and you wanna have a real amplifier, incorporate uh, your pedals and things like that, well, this is all designed to do that. Anyways, I've got it plugged in. I've got it hooked up to a load. So let's turn it on for the first time. Very, very cool. Sounds like it's got a fan inside. Anyways, why don't we get in real close and then I'll show you the features on the Aileron. The Aileron is a 12 watt tube amp with two 12AX7s in the preamp, a phase inverter 12AX7 and two EL84s in the power section. Unlike a typical head, it's designed to sit on the floor. This unique design allows you to arrange your pedals in front while maintaining great cable management. It has ports to power four pedals and the effects loop right in front. It has two unique inputs. The soft input feeds directly into the tube stages and the treble input, which adds a FET driven treble booster. The switches on the front of the amp control the overdrive and the built-in parametric EQ. The amount of overdrive is controlled on the top panel and is next to a three band EQ and a volume control. There are two shape controls that affect the mid range. I'll dive into those when I do a full amp demo. 
An exciting feature of this amp is the built-in parametric EQ. It has a sweepable frequency range from 100 Hz to 5 kHz, a level control, and a Q control. This should be great for surgical boosting and cutting or to create different voicings. I look forward to trying that out. There's a high-low button to adjust the level of the effects loop, and you've got a built-in reverb. Around back, the aileron has three speaker outputs at 4, 8, and 16 ohms, and a balanced line out. Though it doesn't have a built-in load, so when using this, you need to make sure you're connected to a speaker or a load box. Well, I have to say, I'm really impressed with the build quality. I haven't heard it yet. I'm gonna plug it in. Obviously, I'm gonna spend some time with this so I can give you the full rundown on the aileron. But just on a first impression here, it's very well built. I love the handles here. It's gonna be easy to move this around. And it's, it's, it's got some weight to it, but it's not so heavy that you're not gonna be able to move it around. Uh, you put it in a good flight case. You've got room for your pedals and things like that. So I really, really like the form factor. So I am gonna spend some time with this so I can give you the full rundown on what it sounds like and what I think about it. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell uh, so you'll be notified when the video for this uh, full video on this amplifier drops. But if you have any questions, have you any thoughts, have you seen anything like this before? Would love to hear from you. Uh, let me know in the comment section. But like I said, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And since we are talking about amplifiers, I did a comparison about two budget tube amplifiers. You wanna check it out, I'm gonna put it right here. But remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I'll catch you in the next one.